Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to a special T4LT interview episode. I'm here with Mona Parekh, Instructor of Math in the Distance Learning Department at Kirkwood. She's using the LiveScribe pen in her courses to enhance instruction and facilitate feedback. So welcome, Mona. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Can you tell me a little bit about what is the LiveScribe pen? I've never heard of it before. So the LiveScribe pen is uh, a pen that writes on special paper and it can write on regular paper as well, but it has built-in audio and um, you're able to work out problems, write notes, and it records your voice as you're writing. So how are you using it in your classes? So as of right now, um, it, it actually started when students were emailing me with a bunch of questions saying, how does um, order of operation works? Now, I started the lesson, we discuss it in class, we do several problems, and what happens is, uh, about 12 hours later, students are sitting at home finally and going through their homework and they're forgetting what they learned in class. Even though they took notes, they're forgetting some of the um, interesting aspects of, let's, let's just think about um, order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses first, then exponents. Multiply and divide in the order from left to right. Mm -hmm. Now what they would forget is like, they see multiply and divide, but they forget that it's grouped together. and. Um, they fail to write this in their notes. So I decided to use this pen by working out several problems as I'm talking and send it off in an email. And they would get the problems worked out, which is really neat. And they can hear the voice, see the problems being worked out, and they can press pause, work out the problems, and then press play again and see the problems worked out in its entirety. Wow, that's great. Do you use this both in your KTS and your online courses? I do. And it's very helpful, especially for my online courses where I don't get to see my students mm -hmm. and they're struggling with particular problems in any one of the, you know, the topics, uh, elementary, intermediate algebra. And I'm able to help facilitate, you know, the questions that they have mm -hmm. by providing a, a different resource. What are some of the benefits that you've seen that have come from this? Some of the benefits that I see is, first of all, I can do this in the privacy of my own office at home. Um, and the benefits are for students that they can revisit this um, topics over and over again, which is really nice. So, you know, when I was teaching KTS, it's nice to be able to record your class while you're teaching and then you can post it into Angel. Um, and that's nice too, but then they have to watch the entire video. And this, it's addressing particular topics, particular problems, and it's a quick fix to a quick question, really. So you, it does, you don't think it takes up too much time, too much extra time for you? Or? No, in fact, um, it's as simple as writing out notes anyway. So when I'm at home preparing for my lesson, um, I've been writing out my lessons in my uh, special notebook that LiveScribe you can buy. And um, as I'm writing my notes, I can also then post this into Angel. So it doesn't take up any more extra time. In fact, even if they have a question, they call you, it's the same amount of time, I think, that you're spending with them over the telephone mm -hmm or through Adobe Connect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have to use that particular notebook or is that uh, in some way special? Yep, it is special. It's, um, it's I want to call it data paper, but it's, it, it is, this notebook is filled with a bunch of um, dots, like uh, you would see like on a computer screen, right? And you have to press play, in which I can show you guys later, but um, you press play and you start w audio recording everything that you write and you can solve multi-problems, multi-pages and keep going until you're finished and then you press stop and then you, well the newer versions don't have this, um, they just have a wire, but you put it in the cradle, click it into your computer, turn your computer on and everything gets downloaded. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Was this tricky for you to learn? Well, because I have the older version, the newer versions, um, aren't as tricky, but I had to update my older version to be compatible to the computer that I have right now. So that was a little tricky initially. Alan was able to help me out and LiveScribe, their technology um, department there was able to troubleshoot every single question that I had and they were very patient and very um, nice to me. Good. Yep. What about student feedback? They like it. Uh, yeah, I have a lot. Yeah, they like it and so What's nice is the students are saying, well, everything's great. I get when you're in class. I get it. And when you're explaining the problems, I'm able to even follow and even do the problems when you ask us to complete in class. But what happens, Mona, is when I'm at home alone by myself, 
I can't interface with a textbook. It doesn't talk back to me. Even though I provide them with links um, that has, you know, a, a person working at the problems in front of them, mm -hmm. you know, they have a certain connection with me. And, you know, they are saying, well, I'm missing all the wonderful little clues and the helpful hints and how to solve these problems and be very efficient. Um, so students really like this. So I've decided that by the end of May, uh, my elementary algebra notes will be posted um, in, all my notes will be posted free for anybody on Kirkwood campus to oh, use. Great. Yeah. great. Yeah, what are some other ways you think maybe instructors in other disciplines could use something like this? So this is actually an interesting question. So I showed this with the math science group and their technology group. There are some science teachers who uh, have the pen, and one in particular, she's using it by answering questions just like I am using it. And um, so right now, I think that's how it's being used. Okay. As far as I understand, students have a question. Let's shoot out an answer to quick fix it. But I guess if you want to look at the long-term range of this, I think what's nice about this is being able to post your notes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really helpful for students if you, they have the notes already. Um, that's one thing that I dif did different this semester than I did in the fall, is that I posted all my notes completely. Uh, so students had access to them before coming to class, mm -hmm. so they've already visited mm -hmm. the information yeah. once before. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, any other out-of-the-box ways that, that this could be used? You know, um, as of right now, I can't think of any, but I'm sure that when all of us uh, use this product, I think maybe we'll come up with more creative solutions or creative um, ways of utilizing this pen. But for right now, it's just putting the information out there sure. so students have that access and are able to use it like late at night when they're alone and they're like, oh, I forgot how to do it. Can you rework it again? Well, I'm not available at 2 o'clock in the morning, but this is. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Do you have anything you'd like to add? I'm just happy that I got to use this pen, and, and it's, it's available. And you can buy it at Best Buy or Amazon.com, or you can even go to LiveScribe and get a refurbished one um, for a fraction of what they're selling it at Best Buy. Great. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Emily. It's nice to be here.